Hi, I'm Lasta Shipowick. I'm Stefan Andrusiak. Hi, my name is Yuba Dubek. Hello, I'm Bill Struess. Hi there, I'm Christina Shipowick. Welcome to St. Vlad's. We're celebrating Ukrainian Heritage Day here at the Institute. And welcome to our third annual Ukrainian Heritage Day celebration and open house here at St. Vladimir Institute. <laughs> We're a very lucky community that we get the opportunity to celebrate our heritage and the Ukrainian contribution we provide for this great province of Ontario. It's four years now that we have held Ukrainian Heritage Day thanks to uh, Jerry Martinyuk and his colleagues in the Ontario Legislature who lobbied and agreed unanimously to call September 7th of every day Ukrainian Day in this province, no matter where you go. I didn't have any place to stay. Pan Kireluk, the former manager of this fine institution, said, well, you can have one of our rooms. Uh, on the third floor, it was a tiny room. It wasn't air-conditioned. I hope it's air-conditioned today. Uh, but it was wonderful. It was wonderful hospitality. I felt at home. We have held Ukrainian Heritage Day at the legislature for four years, and for four years in a row, St. Vladimir's Institute has provided the good stuff. They provided advertising. They provided printing. They provided food for people. I'll just give a donation. Whatever you feel, you're welcome here. We are very happy that our parents, friends, understood that everything they We have as a result an incredible collection that has been in the making for 70 years. We have put together an exhibit that we think is timely. We've called it Diverse Yet United, Rizni Proterazum, in order to give all of our community and all Canadians an opportunity to understand who their neighbors are in this great land of Ukraine that is fighting so hard for its true freedom uh, today. As a result, we have started with the first part of our exhibit that is dealing with the western boundaries of Ukraine. And you will have an opportunity to see complete costumes uh, all the way from the north, Polisia, through Volin, Opilia, Boykivshchina, Utsulshchina, Lemkivshchina, and Bukovina. I think uh, it will give you a very good idea of just how diverse the Ukrainians are as a people. St. Vladimir's Institute has always been a pivotal cultural hub for our community and for me personally. The importance of this institution to our community is paramount. Today we gather at St. Vladimir's to reflect on our rich culture and the challenges ahead of us. It is important that we remain, that we remain vocal and, and present in the diaspora to champion for our brethren in Ukraine and for the continued importance of our Ukrainian culture in Canada. And on behalf of the St. Vladimir Board of Directors, it gives me great pleasure to officially open this beautiful exhibit of paintings by artist Lysa Shipowick. My show is called Journey because I have never stayed with just one type of uh, genre in artwork. And I've enjoyed everything from, per, you know, doing my paintings every which way, from watercolors right through to uh, acrylics and abstracts. So the show is sequential around the room, and it begins with high realism uh, created in watercolors and using everyday subject matter as the, uh, the focus. Now, as I go along around the room, I've changed the focus to um, acrylics and I have quite a few non-objective paintings which means there is no object and people always say well which one was difficult these look so uh, very specific non-objective you really are doing quite intuitive painting and uh, a very enjoyable process 
Uh, the paintings are for sale, and uh, I do have a website, which is lesiashipowick.com. That's L-E-S-I-A-S-H-I-P-O-W-I-C-K.com, and all of these uh, paintings are on site. Hi there, I'm Christina Shipowick, and I'm here at St. Vladimir celebrating the uh, Ukrainian Heritage Day, and I was just here participating in uh, the art exhibit as well as um, eating delicious food and doing some of the artwork here, and this is what I have created. The children are uh, giving in uh, many uh, of their artwork, and in return, I'm giving them a T-shirt with the logo "I Love Ukraine." Okay. So this is part of the uh, continuation of part of that uh, campaign for uh, "I Love Ukraine." Okay. Good on you, Toronto. Thank you for showing up at our event and uh, see you really, really soon. Slavo Ukraini. Heroyam Slavo.